Hi there guys, got a little video here for you today on the Day State Delta Wolf and what we're going to be doing in this one is swapping the rifle over from 2.2 to 177. So we've got the parts laid out here, we've got a 177 barrel, a 177 pellet probe and also a 177 magazine. It's a very simple process but I thought we'd just walk through it on the channel and what we'll also do is check the power between the two setups. So firstly we'll do the 2.2, so if we have a look at the rifle here, it's a standard setup and we've obviously done nothing to the insides of the rifle, it's just bog standard. If we look at the regulator pressure there, it's around 94 where it was last time. I have seen on some of the newer Delta Wolfs that they're running the reg pressure a little higher. I think the last Alpha Wolf I looked at was running about 100 or around the 105 mark. But this particular one we haven't changed, it's still around the 92 to 94 mark. So first of all we'll check the power. And to do that all we're going to be using is just some Rangemaster Sovereigns, just an average weight 2-2 pellet. Stick a couple in the magazine and see what it's running at. And the rifle is currently set up to do around 571 feet per second, averaged between about 570 and 575. So roughly around the 11.4 mark. And that's the 2-2 setup, so what we'll do now is swap the calibers over and see what the 177 is running at. First thing we're going to do is disconnect the battery. So first of all, just pull this little nub here down, the little red one. And what that does is allow the butt piece to slide off. Next we'll take the battery out. So I've got a little bit of tape on my battery just to make it a little easier to remove. Although if you don't have the tape you can put an Allen key in the side there, a nice small one. Slide it between the battery and the case itself. Then rotate the Allen key so that the L part is under the battery and pull it out. You don't actually need to disconnect the battery for this, but it just makes it a little easier to manipulate for the camera. So I'm going to take my battery out. Next thing we're going to do is remove the pellet probe. So first thing to do is to pull the cocking arm back and expose the little screw in the side there. Next with a 2mm Allen key, we'll just loosen this bolt here and pull that out. So that's that little bolt there. Then we'll put the pellet probe all the way to the back. That will snap it onto the magnet and we'll push the cocking arm forward again. Next, in the back here, using a 3mm Allen key. It's pretty dark for the camera but there is a little Allen key slot there. So we're going to stick the Allen key in there and undo it. That pulls the pellet probe out. So we'll stick that to one side. Next what we'll do is loosen this grub screw here using a 3mm Allen key. You don't need to take it all the way out, just a couple turns will do you. And the barrel can be pulled out nice and easily. Next we'll reinstall the 177 barrel, so with the dimple on the side there aligned with the grub screw. Push the barrel in nice and gently, like so. Being nice and careful of the chronograph's connection at the front there, so gently push it in and make sure it's home. Next, using a 3mm Allen key again, we'll just do the grub screw up in the side, nice and tightly. Once that is done, we can put the 177 pellet probe in. The easiest way I've found to reinstall the pellet probe is quite simply to pull the bolt back, hold it back, line the pellet probe transfer pull up with the bottom of the rifle, and then drop it in the back there. So you see that there. And we can put the screw in the side and do that up nice and tightly with a 2mm Allen key. Doing it that way is just a little easier. And before it goes back in we'll check that the hole in the bottom of the transfer port is still aligned with the bottom. So that can go forward now. And we can reinstall our little cap and we'll do that up with a 3mm Allen key. Next we can reinstall the battery, so with the two tabs of the battery facing downwards, we can just line it up with the hole, push the connection in, and then lay the battery over the top there. Next we'll put our butt piece back on, and that just slides in. Right then, and that's the gun swapped over from 2.2 to 177. So a fairly quick process. What we'll do now is stick a couple pellets through it, see what the power's running at. 
the pellets that we're going to be putting through it are JSB heavies and these pellets are 10.34 grain. Right then, just did a few shots off cam, so 708, was averaging around 705 to 710, so roughly same sort of power. So the 11.5 to 11.6 range. Now the JSB heavies are very, very efficient, so if we put a, a normal 844 in there, it may drop a little lower than that, but for me that's not a big issue. Right then, and that's the calibre change all sorted. The actual job itself is really nice and simple. What I wanted to show for the video mainly is that the power between the 177 and the 22 wasn't wildly different. So now that we've got the 177 in, what we're going to be doing next is doing some experiments and comparing this to other 177 rifles. It was a little hard to do with the 22 barrel as most of our other rifles are 177, but we got a few experiments coming with the Delta Wolf. Um, firstly, what we're going to be doing is reducing the plenum size. So the actual plenum on the Delta Wolf is quite large, it's about this long and is a fairly, fairly thick or large diameter so there's a lot of volume in there and in our experiments for sub-12 rifles that's not always the best thing to have. So what we're going to be doing is just making some Delrin plugs, sticking them in there and seeing what happens. The other thing we're going to be experimenting around with is a pin probe. So this is a 177 pin probe that I've made up and we're just going to experiment around with that and see what happens when we put it in. The pellets that we like to use don't work tremendously well in the magazine. So all other pellets work, but one specific pellet that we like to use pretty much on all our other rifles, which is JSB Shorts, doesn't cycle perfectly in the magazine. Some of the points in the magazine, it's a bit notchy. So hopefully a pin probe will sort that out as the pellet, or as the probe will push the pellet from the center rather than the actual edges of the skirt. But that's just another thing we're going to be experimenting around with in the future with Delta Wolf. But for now guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.